Wow, uh, she's a beauty. A uh, 30 footer? 32. Sweet, I sail. I've, uh, I've got a flying Scott. Well, we have several yachting enthusiasts here at Barcliffe Academy. I'd be happy to introduce them to you. Well, that Wonderful. sounds great. If we decide to enroll your children. To be honest, Mr. and Mrs. Scavo, your children's educational background is a bit more common than we would prefer. But Mrs. Van de Kamp mentioned that they were identical twins. Yes, completely identical. You, you can't tell them apart. They're like bookends. <laughs> we do strive for diversity here at Barcliffe. Identical twins could make for an interesting addition. The boys are fascinating. They even have their own twin secret language, don't they, Tom? Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty scary. Well, it's not really so much scary as highly developed. Yeah, yeah they, they, they bark and, and growl at I'm each sorry, other. Sorry, Tom. It's... Mr. Lentz was trying to say something. Oh. Sorry. Go ahead, Mr. Lentz. I'd love to meet these twins of yours. I tell you what, I'm going to put them on our must-meet list. Terrific. Uh, thank you so much. <laughs> what is a must-meet list? We bring them in for observation. Uh, observation? Mm -hmm. To see how they play with the other children, how they respond to authority, that sort of thing. Great. That sounds wonderful. <laughs> Lynette hatched a plan to break her children into Barcliffe Academy. Boys, wake up. Come on. We're going to have some fun today. Come on. Yeah. Hey. Hi. Come on, I'm at your baby. Come on. Go, go, go. Come on. Yes, yes. Come on, I'm trying to get to do it. Hey, if I can still see your head, the pool's not deep enough. Are your boys usually so docile? They're always a little shy at first. Look at that concentration. Porter loves his puzzles. Hmm. 